a lot of people are saying, um, Alex Jones can't be a show because he says the truth. Okay. Yes, he says the truth. Do you think they would make it that obvious to find out if he was real or not? Do you really think uh, he's just going to come on air and say, Hey guys, I'm a CIA shill. No. Of course, it's an excellent cover that he tells the truth. Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, how else would he get people to follow him? I mean, you think he'd be spitting out lies every single day and people would just believe him? No, people aren't that stupid. Although they, they are pretty close. Um... <laughs> He's not going to come out and say it, but he does put it in symbology, guys, um, because that's part of their whole gig, their whole, their whole method. Um, they have to reveal it to you through their symbols, and if you don't pick up on it, that's your fault. Uh, the moment the phone rang, the guys answered it, I'm standing there, the alarm goes off, uh, it's going off right now, the guests are exiting the hotel out there, of course there's no fire, uh, this is just absolutely insane. I forgot that part, George, these bastards have done this, I don't know how, they're planning to try to set us up or something, but this is incredible, we are here in the middle of this right now, George. The Federal Emergency Management Agency Well, I did consulting for a scanner darkly produced in 2005 with uh, Keanu Reeves, Winona Ryder, Woody Harrelson, and a bunch of others. Of course, I'm in the film. And I did consulting with Tommy Pilata, one of the producers, and, and Richard Linkletter, the director. And I thought I knew everything. They discovered a bunch of stuff that I, I had trouble believing until I saw the documents. So, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. don't think you ever know it all, folks. Oh, yo. Drop jelly beans, GMT, peyote. I know you feel me. Peace song is a natural trip to me. My rhymes are so vivid, you start to see things way different. America's fake. I was fast asleep, but now I'm wide awake. I was under the spell of King Gu and reserve notes. Religion and fashion, I used to be flashy till I had a total recall. Forgot what I already knew. It took me 33 years for me to see the truth. Never so clear, I was too young, I couldn't articulate myself the right way, son, but now, let me break it down, pass it all around, this is not a theory, the conspiracy is real, they wanna put me in a straight jacket in the padded room, tell the world it's 12 monkeys, so they could be confused, Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body, secret society, trying to keep their eye on me, but I'ma stay incognito, in places they can't find me, make my moves strategically, if I've had all these Hollywood stars call me, but they never want to go on air, most of them, I mean, you name it, folks. Uh, and when I work with Keanu Reeves, they can't find me, make my moves strategically. 
They say, of course, uh, with Bruce Willis. Yeah, them top playing games with you kids. Ain't no time for playing. Take the rhymes and saying, I'm ready for the streets. For He's now no longer a neocon. He's totally into this now. And that's a few people I can talk about. Uh, <laughs> obviously, well, I mean, I'm not going to say any more names. Folks, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, okay, I'll say it. Brad Pitt. Hit the YouTube up. Now I got millions of some of the detractors, I mean, if we used an American Eagle, they'd say it was fascist. If we used a circle, they'd say it was a cultic. A, a V, I'm not too f familiar with that being a cultic, but... There, there's no... Uh, it's not by chance these corporate logos all have meaning. All seeing eyes, peacocks. The pentagrams, the shell. Uh, 66 is a really good one and really is telling. If you understand Kabbalism... It's a W. Every letter has meaning and every letter has a number and so V in Hebrew is 6 so 66 becomes W and if you look at uh, Hitler's Volkswagen you'll see it's a VB interlaced double power we posted a fan listener version of our V that just had infowars.com in a short message and it says you're not alone you know, we're standing up, we're everywhere, we're the people, you know, we are legion. I got like 30 emails, Aaron said, saying, we are legion, that's what the devil says. Whatever, you're going to, like, the devil said everything. You know, I mean, the devil says pink elephants. I can't ever say pink elephants. The point is, we're the majority. We, we outnumber the globalists a thousand to one. So I, I didn't make that, a fan made it. There's hundreds of them on there. Anybody that's on my Facebook can go in there and post it. It's, it's not my fault. <laughs> They are the tower is not designed symmetrically like a a standard oil tower would be. Presumably, this is supposed to be like a an oil tower or maybe a um, radio tower or, or a telephone wire tower kind of thing. But it's all asymmetric, which is very curious because that's not how they actually exist in uh, culture. And the way the tower is has all kinds of bizarre things about it. First of all, the whole tower is shaped like an all-seeing eye. Okay, this with a star on top. <laughs> okay, just like the Christmas tree. All right, which is an all-seeing eye. All right. I mean, Alex is very, very smart. He knows all this stuff. So my question is, Alex, why are you putting this in your money bomb? Okay, because people are gonna wonder. I mean, I've never thought you're an Illuminati agent ever. Okay, and I don't now, but I'm wondering why do you have this in here? Okay, because everybody's gonna go crazy over this now. All right, now, but this, let's just keep going here. Look at the top of it. There's an upside down cross right here. And then under that, there's another upside down cross right there. And then there's a third upside down cross here. I'm sure people are going to have a heyday with that number three there. Then this third one is the peace sign, well-known occult symbol. All the occult symbols, all the symbols for big movements, uh, you know, like anarchy or the peace movement or whatever, those are just all Illuminati-driven things. And you can tell, one of, the way, one of the many ways you can tell is they're symbols are just Illuminati symbols. Like here, the anarchy symbol is just the all-seeing eye. Do you, um, get what you want? movement about 9-11 are the ones that attacked us on 9-11. Why? Don't you know their phrase? Order out of chaos. They want chaos. They don't want you to have a solution. No, no, no. They don't want you to be able to unify. They just want you to rise up like chickens with their heads cut off so that there is chaos or anarchy. They want you to rise up 
Nobody's solving anything. It's just a bunch of propaganda bullshit about 9-11. People send emails to each other and talk about it all the time. But nobody's doing anything. They need chaos for order. These people have a history of pointing their fingers at themselves. They did it when they switched from dictatorship to hidden hand. They're doing it now. They're exposing what's happened on 9-11 through these fake underground truth movements. It's because you're like uh, a chess player that's thinking three moves ahead and you're playing somebody that's able to think 30 moves ahead. So you catch their bishop in five moves and say, Ha! I got your bishop. And they say, Ha! Yeah, I know you did, and I knew you would, and in exactly five moves. And then three and a half minutes later, checkmate. Do you, um, get what you well, you know, Bill Clinton was in town last year, and uh, my mother's, uh, my my wife's mother, uh, has been active in the Democratic Party. So it was a Democratic Party dinner. And there was about 100 people there, and they're all around Bill Clinton talking. Uh, and somebody said, what do you think, uh, not my uh, not my wife's mother, but one of her friends said, what do you think about Alex Jones, you know, the radio and TV guy who's talking about the New World Order? And Bill Clinton said, L let me think of the exact quote, um, Alex Jones is one of the most important commentators uh, and, and, and what he's saying is some of the most important things being said in the world and they said you mean Alex Jones the you know the young anti New World Order guy he said yeah Alex Jones and mentioned some things uh but another thing is I have left not so nice comments on Alex Jones's channel um, basically about exposing him as a CIA agent once I found out for myself and saw all the signs and the, the Masonic symbology everywhere and was just like, you know what, this is a total setup, this is a total government gig, I'm not going to have any part of this, and I don't care, I, I wrote on his channel, I said, I don't care if I have to die like Bill Cooper did, I will expose you. And sort of directly after I made those comments and um, started doing more and more research and made that video about him, the, the V equals victory, vagina victory, that's when they started circling my house like non-stop that night as I was in the process of making it. Um, I had done a lot of research for that video. So in Google. So I figure um, that was sort of the triggering aspect to it because they knew what I was up to. Um, and then afterwards, this whole past week, for a whole week, I've been followed um, all the way to Walmart by two black planes um, side by side next to each other to Arby's. Um, and back to my house, and then any time I'm outside on the phone, they'll be circling um, while I'm standing out in the driveway, and there'll be helicopters right in my face. Um, I've seen every single number of aircraft. And it's just a slap in the face when you know who's the fraud and who isn't. And that someone like me speaking out just over YouTube is putting their life on the line for you. And then for you to spite me, you know? or despite the other people that come out and speak out against Alex because 
we know what's going on. And you don't want to hear it. You don't want to believe it. But it's true.